Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically import a spreadsheet into a table component for your email designs which you can then export out to HTML. So to get started um, we can just jump into a new Figma file and go to the resources icon in the top header menu here. So I'm just going to click on that, click on the plugins tab and then we're just going to search for the word emailify. So that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and you'll see emailify pop up as a result. Just go ahead and click on that. And then to install the plugin, we just click on this little three dots icon where it says more options, click on that, and then click on install. And that's just gonna install the emailify plugin that we're gonna use for this tutorial. So to run the plugin, we just right click anywhere on your Figma page, go down to plugins, go to installed plugins and click on emailify. And that'll run the plugin that we just installed a minute ago. So the first time you run the plugin, it's going to ask you to create a new email frame. So I'm just going to call this one table test for today, just to show you an example of the table component. And once you've done that, just click on the add new emailify container button. And that's just going to add a blank email frame onto the page. And this is going to allow us to do different things like add pre-built components. So from the components menu here, you can click on any of these. Uh, you can change the category and pick different ones. Um, but for today, we're actually going to be creating a custom table component from a spreadsheet automatically. And to do that, we just need to use this little quick add uh, element to selected layer function at the bottom of the plugin. So the way this works is when you select a different type of element or a different type of layer in your email, uh, it's going to give you different options that you can add to that layer. So for example, if we click on the email frame, uh, so you can see here we've got the email layer selected. It's going to allow us to add a few different content types. So I'm going to add the content row and click on the add button. And that's just going to add a brand new content row that we can now use in our email to add more components. So I'm just going to click on the column uh, element inside of the row and this is where our content layers are going to be added. So for today, uh, I'm going to be focusing on importing a spreadsheet to a table into this content component. Um, but you can add a bunch of different elements as well. So there's text layers, image layers, uh, button layers. So you can kind of build all of this out. But today we're just going to be adding a spreadsheet. So go ahead and click on the Add Spreadsheet option in the Select menu. And again, I've just got the column layer selected and that's why I've been able to select this particular option. And once you've selected the Add Spreadsheet option, it's going to reveal a couple of new fields that we can use. Um, so the first one is it's going to let us import a table from an Excel spreadsheet file or a CSV file, or alternatively, we can import a table from a public Google Sheet. So I'll show you what both of those look like. And I'm just going to switch into my browser where I've got Google Sheets open. And I'm just going to go through a rough idea of what the table structure or the spreadsheet structure should look like. So the first row is always the header. And the header is basically just containing your labels that you want for each column. So for example, this is a movie app. Uh, so I've got a poster, I've got a title, I've got um, reviews. And underneath the poster column, I've also got a bunch of image links. So if we open one of these up, you'll see that this is actually an image. And if you add a link to an image in your spreadsheet columns, that'll get automatically loaded as an image file into Figma as well. So I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. And the rest of these fields are just purely text. So uh, we can just leave them as is, and that's totally fine. You can customize the spreadsheet to have as many columns as you like and as many rows as you like, and this will get imported in a moment. Um, so the two ways to import this is you can either download the spreadsheet as a Excel spreadsheet or a CSV. Excel is probably better. Um, you can also edit this spreadsheet in Excel and save it as an Excel file. You don't have to use Google Sheets but for today I'm just using Google Sheets. So as I said, you can save that out as an Excel file, such as the one I've got up here, and that'll be uh, usable that we can drag into the plugin. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we've got our Excel file, and I'm just gonna drag and drop that Excel file into the plugin, into this little drop zone here. And it's loaded up four rows that it's gonna import. So once it's ready, you can go ahead and click on the Add button where it says Add Four and it's going to go ahead and download those images that we included in our spreadsheet data and then once that's done it's going to automatically import all of that data from the spreadsheet into Figma as a table. 
So you can see here it's added this table into Figma. Uh, we can see it's got all the layers in there. And it's also gone ahead and created a brand new page with that table component. So I'll show you what that looks like as well. So if we switch onto the table uh, component page, which is just by clicking on this little left hand side, I'll just move the plugin over for a second. And you can see here that we've got a couple of different components. We've got our table header row component. So what this does is it allows us to actually adjust the width of those columns. If we wanted some to be narrower or some to be wider, uh, we can quite easily do that. Uh, we can also change the image size. So if we just unhide this poster layer, uh, the image layer, and if we wanted to change that, uh, we can edit what that looks like. So we're just gonna change the aspect ratio of that and then hide that. So if we go back into our email, uh, you'll basically see that we've now got the changes we made to the width and the changes we made to the poster all coming through uh, in the different sizes. So I'm going to remove that for now and I'm going to get rid of that page. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like to add that table or add that spreadsheet from a Google Sheets URL as well. So all I'm going to do is click on my column layer again. I'm going to click on the choose element to add option uh, menu. I'm going to click on add spreadsheet again and this time instead of dropping in an Excel spreadsheet file I'm going to go back to my Google Sheet link and I'm going to click on this little share icon or share button in the top right hand corner and once I click on that um, what I want to do is I'm going to change this general access setting from restricted to anyone with the link so when I click on anyone with the link that basically means that anyone I share this link with will have public access to it, including the Figma plugin. So I've just clicked on that copy link button to copy the share link for the spreadsheet. I'm going to minimize my browser, jump back into the Emailify plugin, and instead of dropping that file in, I'm going to go down here where it says import table from public Google Sheet, paste that in. That's going to load up the Google Sheet and it's saying that it's ready to go. So we can click on the add button again. So I'm gonna click on that add button up here. Again, that's gonna download the images uh, that we set for our poster uh, column. And once it finishes doing that, it's gonna import uh, that data into Emailify. So again, you can see we've got the exact same data that we had from our Excel file, but this time we've loaded it in from the public Google Sheet. So if we jump back again to our component, uh, we can make those changes and I can go to my poster. I can change the width and height of that image to match the aspect ratio if I need to. I can uh, also change some of these things up here. So if I wanted to hide certain columns, I can just click on the, uh, the header row component and I can just hide certain columns if I want to do that. So I can hide the reviews column and that's just a really easy way for me to customize the width and customize the display uh, of a lot of these different things. So we can really uh, fine tune what that looks like. And we can reduce that width as well. Oops, there we go. And then if we switch back into Emailify, uh, you'll see here that we've now got, uh, I'll just hide that uh, poster again, I forgot to do that. I've just added that uh, in there and now you can see we've got a customized table uh, that we can actually now render out to HTML and the way we can do that as a preview is just by clicking on this little preview button in the plugin so I'm going to click on preview it's going to generate an HTML preview you can see here this is HTML I can select and move around uh, I can see what it looks like on mobile so this is the mobile uh, width I can shrink that down and see what it looks like and of course you can customize uh, all of this as well as you'd expect in Figma. So if you want to do things like adjust the vertical alignment, you can just change the auto layout properties either in the instances here, or you can do that in the actual component page as well. So if I go back to the component page and I go to the uh, header component, so I'm going to go there, I'm going to change the vertical alignment to the top and that will automatically update the vertical alignment to the top in my instances as well. And then if I click on refresh in the plugin, you can see here that that change has been reflected as well. Um, same thing with the border stroke. So for example, I've got this border stroke uh, set on the bottom of the row. 
So if I change that color to black, that's going to change the color to black here. If I get rid of that entirely, uh, I can just refresh that and now I've got no dividers. So it's just a nice way to customize it really easily. If you just jump back into the component page, go to the table, uh, data table header row component. And if you customize that, that's going to roll out all the changes to your instances as well. So you can basically make the design change in one place and see those changes get rolled out across the board automatically. Um, and that's just a really fast way of making changes to your table, or cha uh, ch changes to your data. Uh, so that's roughly what it looks like. And uh, as I said, you can export this out to HTML as well. So if you want to export this out, just click on the export HTML button and select your platform. So you can either export to an HTML package or you can export it to a specific platform. So if you're a MailChimp user, you can paste in your key. Um, if you're a Klaviyo user, you can paste in your key uh, or any of these other platforms. But for today, I'm just going to be exporting to HTML. So I'm going to click on the HTML option, click the export to HTML button. Uh, you can add a subject line if you need to. I'm not going to add one for today. And I'm just going to export that. Once it's ready, just click on the download your zip file and that'll allow you to save it to wherever you want. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to unzip that by double clicking the zip file. And then I'm going to open up the folder and there's a previews HTML file that we can use. So I'm just going to double click that. And that's basically going to give us a preview of what it looks like on large screens and also on mobile as well. And if you need the uh, actual email files, they're just inside of this folder. So you can see inside here, we've got our HTML file and that's what it looks like. So all the images are in there and uh, this is all the HTML. So that's production ready HTML, that's ready to go. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for today. I really just wanted to focus on the uh, custom table or importing tables from spreadsheets or Google Sheets or Excel or CSV, whichever spreadsheet format you prefer. And just show you how easy it is to really quickly uh, import those spreadsheets into a Figma table that will then be uh, rendered out as HTML in your email designs. So I hope you found that helpful. If you've been wondering how to automate your table creation process uh, specifically for HTML emails uh, in Figma, this is going to be the quickest way to do it and uh, allow you to customize it really quickly by using the uh, component-based structure that gets created on this other page over here. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for today and thank you as always for watching. We'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very soon.